YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. And that's right, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. I usually say that with a lot of my videos, but your eyes are not playing tricks on you. That's right, the Hershey DC Superhero Bars for 2023 are indeed something that has happened, and they are, in fact, real. I had to take a video down, which I shot prior, several weeks ago, talking about it wasn't happening. I did all my research, and all my research pointed to these bars were not going to come out. Again, I looked online, and I looked up for their website. It looked like the bars from last year, but that's not necessarily the case. So this video I'm going to walk through the pros and cons of the Hershey DC Super Bars for 2023, tell you about these bars, what they're all about, how they started, the price point, where you can get them, and my subjective approach to what I think about these bars as a whole to wrap up the video. So let's get started now guys with the Hershey DC Super Bars for 2023, and I hope you do enjoy this content. Smash that like button and subscribe. No one, besides really myself, has really covered the Hershey DC Superhero kind of collaboration starting in 2020. That's where all this stuff happened. And it really kicked off this collaboration really because of the pandemic and really to help first responders. That was the original intent. Your doctors, your hospitals, your police officers, your fire rescue. They made massive pallets of these standard-sized chocolate bars. And it was originally seven bars that came out, about 88 cents a bar, back in 2020. And they gave them to first responders near the end of July, beginning of August of 2020. Huge pallets of these candy bars are given for free to them. Are they still doing that? I don't know if they're still giving out the free bars, but they really kicked off this sort of collaboration with Hershey and DC back then. So the bars in 2023, very similar to the bars in 2022. I'm going to showcase the bars for you right now. There are 12 bars that have come out. Here are all the bars right here. I'm going to kind of walk through it bar by bar so you can see all the bars that came out. And these bars are based on a future state event that came out uh, back in 2022. It was an event that really kind of, uh, kind of snowballed out of control. Dan Didio, which was the CEO of DC Comics, was literally casted out because of how bad the event happened. Low sales, he was thrown out on his petard, if you will, and he was basically basically shit-canned because of the Future State event. No one liked that event. It was badly received by the DC, kind of the fandom, and right now these bars are basically kind of a reskin of the 2022 bars. Let's talk about the bars right now. First, let's talk about the packaging before I get to the bars. Here's what the packaging looks like. I usually do this for every single year. I get one of the little boxes, and this is what the box looks like. It looks like your standard Hershey box is 36 counts for the 36 bars in this particular box. They're set with four rows of nine bars deep per kind of row. And there's usually four characters per box. Here is the sort of literature on the side of the box. The other side right here. And of course the back of the box right there as well. I did this very similar for 2022. So let's showcase off the bars for 2023. And you're going to say to yourself, Rook, these look like the 2022 bars. I'll get to that in a moment. So, there again, there are 12 bars in this set. Uh, here's bar number one. These are standard milk chocolate bars. This is, of course, we have uh, Diana Prince, one woman, which is number bar one. You have, and this one, which is uh, Yellow Floor, which is, I guess, Wonder Woman, or in this case, Wonder Girl, bar two. You have Batman, which is Bruce Wayne Batman. And you're going to notice these are duplicate characters, sort of their avatar or their personification of the character. We have uh, Jace Fox here, which is, again, Batman. We have Clark Kent Superman, right here, bar five. Bar six is John Kent. And again, you're going to say, Rook, this looks just like the 22 bars that you shot last year. I know. We'll talk more about that shortly, guys. Uh, Hal Jordan, it could be John Stewart, Green Lantern, bar 7. And you notice it says bar up to 12. There's 12 bars in the set of bar releases. Uh, you have uh, Joe, uh, Milan, Joe Milan, bar 8, two Green Lanterns. We have Aquaman. We have Arthur Curry, bar number 9. Uh, we have here Jackson Hyde. Some of the characters I'm not very familiar with because they really didn't read the Future State event. I know it was a very bad event. People didn't like it. And these are two new bars that came out for 2023. Barry Allen Flash, bar 11. And you have Jess uh, Chess Chambers, bar 12. So there's 12 bars that came out in 2023. Now, mind you, in 2022, there was technically a... An 11th bar, a, a sort of a, uh, it was a special bar that when you would have gone to Walmart, it was a Nubia bar, which was their new Wonder Woman. That was a special bar that you could only have get, gotten at Walmart. I checked other places, they didn't sell it anywhere else. Those bars were only exclusive to Walmart, and they had lots of those bars. I cracked open many, many cases of bars. I maybe 
two dozen boxes of bars between multiple Walmarts. And they would be like, if there was 36 bars in the box, half the box would be that Nubia bar, and the other half would be a standard set of different characters. So there was about 18 bars for Nubia for 2022. Speaking of 2022, let's compare the 2022 bars to the 2023 bars. Let's first start with one, uh, with one woman here, Diana Prince. We'll have the bar on top here. The bar on the top is the 2022 bar. The bar on the bottom is the 2023 bar. So literally, it's the same identical artwork they've used. They lifted from the 2022, and all I really did was make some subtle changes to the packaging. They got rid of the word bubble, which is here, for the 2023 bar. Instead of having a, we'll go back to the way we had it here, we had the silver limited edition here now you have a gold limited edition here and the background color was changed and made larger the square they used was just elongated the art was just made as a bigger piece of artwork and then the background color matches so you have sort of a reddish peach here for 2022 same lettering for one woman diana prince this is a bluish background blue lettering for one woman they did the same thing for all the bars for all the characters up from bar one to bar ten uh they did the same thing with if we look at batman here we'll look at batman same deal the bar on the top is the 2022 bar. The bar on the bottom is the 2023 bar. Again, same deal. They lifted the same identical artwork from 2022 to 2023. And to me, that's extremely, extremely lazy. That's a slap in the face for the collector. That's just bad, bad implementation. They should be ashamed of using the same identical artwork and not giving a whole lot of value. They gave us two new bars with Barry and Jess, and that was the only thing new, new really, besides little tweaks to the packaging. Why they went that direction, I don't know. I can't tell you why they went that particular direction. To me, it seems like a really, really bad approach. It looks like they, either they wasted all their money on their website information and didn't really make anything quote-unquote really new except for those two additional bars. The price for these bars have gone up significantly from what they were back in 2020. If you would have bought the bars in 2020, they were 88 cents a bar. Now, I just bought these bars about a week ago as far as recording of this video. The bars were $1.25 per bar. That's about a 40% markup per bar from 2020 to 2023. And as I mentioned, I took down the original video thinking there was no additional new bars this year because I figured, you know what? They had a three-year contract. This would be technically year four, and it didn't come out with any bars. Lo and behold, the bars did drop. And usually, companies will either do, if they're big businesses, as far as contracts go, you'll do maybe one year three years or five years. That's what most businesses do for contracts. Uh, either a one-year deal, a three-year deal, or a five-year deal. If this is year four, that would lead me to believe that probably 2024 will be the fifth year of the Hershey DC collaboration together, which lead me to believe is probably going to happen in 2024. That being said, if it does happen in 2024, I'll make another set of videos, just like I did for this one, and when it all dust is settled and everything is done and they don't make any more bars, I'm going to make a massive compilation video, which will talk from the beginning of 2020 all the way through to the conclusion of these bars to give you my personal opinion and what I think they can do better. Now, with that being said, those are all the bars as a whole. Let's talk about what the chocolate looks like on the inside because you guys are probably going to say, well, Rook, what's the actual chocolate look like? Glad you asked that question. Let's take a look at what the bars look like on the inside. So let's crack open the Superman bar, which is, of course, I bought an extra bar here. This is bar number five, the Clark Kent identity bar. That's what they are, basically. This, it's their identity. Superman and his identity is Clark Kent. So think of it that way. You have two different Batmans. That's their identity. So let's crack open what one of these bars looks like. If you're going to ask the question, do they come in different flavors? No. They're all milk chocolate bars. They don't come with cookie and cream or almonds. They've just made them throughout their entire run from 2020 to 2023 now, as far as the recording of this video, as just standard milk chocolate bars. Now, I talked about in 2022's video they had these bite-sized snack bars unfortunately they didn't have any and i bought these at walmart if you're asking rook where'd you get them from i got them from walmart that's where i located these bars no one else really has the bars that i've seen uh you had a, a couple gas stations which was like racetrack or speedway had the bars originally back in 2020 when i got them originally but walmart's my go-to store if you're looking to get these bars for yourself go to walmart that's where i recommend picking up these bars so let's crack into what these bars look like on the inside when you crack open a bar and again it's just standard milk chocolate bars um this this is your standard size bar. If you're going to say, look, is this a large bar? No. This is your standard size bar. And the way they look here, guys, they have little logos. You can see the logos here. It's very similar to all the bars. They all have these little logos of their different uh, DC heroes on the bars. So let's talk final thoughts for the Hershey DC Superhero Bars for 2023. All 12 bars here. Is it worth your money to buy these bars? 
Personally speaking, I wouldn't buy these bars. I wouldn't have bought the bars for 2022. The Future State event was a very poorly received event. I didn't like the event. I didn't like the bars in 2022. I don't like the bars in 2023. Save your money. If you're going to say, well, Rook, for a collector, if I had to buy these bars, which set of bars should I buy? Buy the 2021 bars. Those are the best bars out of all sets for four years now. If I ask my personal opinion, Rook, go with those bars. Those are the bars, if you're as a collector to purchase them, I would go with those bars, but they're very hard to track down. Your eBay is probably the only way to really locate those bars, and you have to be a diehard collector to get those bars because they're really, really hard to find. Again, the 2023 bars, they just lifted the same artwork from 2022, adding the two new Flash characters. To me, isn't worth the money. It is being lazy. DC either took the money they had to build the website and did invest it in the actual bars and the wrapping and come up with a better idea, personally speaking. DC should be DC and Hershey should be ashamed to put out this product for collectors like us. It's a bad representation, and I hope someone shares this video to Hershey and to DC Comics. I'm the only one on YouTube shooting content for this. It is a bad, bad representation for Hershey and even worse for DC Comics to use those bars to repurpose the artwork to give us basic the same bars with two new characters it should be a shame it's a slap in the face for us being collectors they should be freaking ashamed of themselves it's poorly poorly received and poorly poorly done so i hope you like this video of the dc superhero bars and hershey for 2023 remember to click the like button bottom page click that all important subscribe button picture my face when you subscribe shell click bell coming up for the latest videos of course last but not least click windows here and here to watch my content take care guys see you next video and bye bye